Next thing I want to show you guys is our check-in screen. This is where you'll perform multiple actions on the account, such as marking it as repossessed, changing the icon, or discounting it. Let's go to this first one here. You can see once I click it, again, I get the customer's name, VIN, assignment type, and the client. And now I have two actions that I can take from right here. You can see that this agent has already typed an internal note. The internal note is something that you want to keep private to yourself. In this case, the agent has typed, might have been here too many people out at 7 p.m. This is not viewed by the client. But let's say that we want to type an update on this account. We're going to come over here to RDN Update. Any update that you type into RDN Update will transfer over to your RDN automatically. So you won't need to go between RDN and ClearPlan. So let me type an update on this assignment. So here's my update. Single family home, one story, two car garage. Let me take it a step farther though. Let's say that this client in particular is a really good client of ours and we want to mark this account a priority. Come down here to change icon. Earlier I showed you several different types of icons that we give you in ClearPlan, including custom ones. Come over here to change icon, choose system icon, and I can mark it either a priority, a voluntary, confirmed, or I can keep it as new. I'm going to mark it a priority in this case. Now that you can see, the icon has changed to a priority. When I click check in and save, that update is going to automatically go over to RDN, as you can see here, and now you'll notice that this assignment is saved as a priority for me to view in the future. Let's go back to that same assignment and perform another action. Let's say we rerun it and we figure out that our customer no longer lives here or the house is vacant. Obviously, I'll type a better, a better update than I'm going to type right now, but I'm going to do this for example's sake. This house is vacant. So what I want to do is I want to come over here and I'm going to hit discount and save. The only two actions that you can do are check in and save. So this is if the car wasn't able to be recovered and we just typed an update or discount and save. This is where we're going to remove the point off of ClearPlan altogether. Again, when you discount and save, that point is gone forever. So I'm going to type my update, the house is vacant, discount and save. It's going to ask me if I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure. Now you'll notice that, that icon disappeared. I ruled that address out. I discounted it. It was no longer good. So this is kind of that logic that you're going to do when keeping your map clean. The whole point is you want the best possible assignments to run on your map. So ruling out the old stuff or assignments that have been assigned to you five or six times is the way to get nothing but a good quality map to work off of. Let's do one more. I'm going to click this and let's say that I'm going to actually recover this unit. I'm going to come over here to the Recover Vehicle button. ClearPlan is a 100% live system. And what I mean by live system is that when you perform an action, it can be seen in real time by anybody else in the company, from the office to the other drivers. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to recover this vehicle. You'll notice here on this assignment that there are three addresses on it total. The awesome thing about ClearPlan is that the system is totally live. And what I mean by live is that when you recover this vehicle, in real time, we're going to pull all of these points off of the map. So if you're sharing addresses with another adjuster, you won't have to see those once he recovers them. No more running an assignment that has been repossessed 25 minutes ago by somebody else. So when I come over here to mark this vehicle recovered, you can see I have these three addresses. So for the sake of example, I want to show them to you on the map. It's one, two, and three. So it looks like these were two new addresses and this is one that had been run before. But let's just pretend that the unit is showing at this address. I want to recover the vehicle. Now when I hit yes, notice that those three points are gone. They've all been removed in real time. That's how you're going to mark a car out. From there, it's going to take you to the case in RDN and you can proceed to mark the unit out at your company's specifications.